We are working the latest on the State House showdown. It's now day 27. The state of Rhode Island still continues to operate without a new budget. The impasse leaving cities and towns in the lurch. Mayors and town managers meeting today with Governor Raimondo here at the State House, telling her they're concerned about the funding. But tonight, a glimmer of hope that the impasse at the State House could soon be over. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is live in the capital city tonight with the latest from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Steph. State House leaders say they are close to a resolution. Governor Raimondo wants them to pass a budget by Tuesday. That's when checks go out to cities and towns. After a closed door meeting of Senate leaders, Senate Majority Leader Michael McCaffrey telling Eyewitness News there's still no deal on the budget, but the Senate plans to hold a Democratic caucus to discuss the possibility of coming back into session. And hopefully, uh, get back together next week sometime and uh, keep this issue moving forward. I could force them to come to the building. I can't actually force them to vote on a budget. Governor Gina Raimondo is urging the General Assembly to get something passed by Tuesday when checks are supposed to go out to cities and towns with state aid, including for schools. If we don't have the new budget by then, they're all going to be out a lot of money. The state's mayor's warning of possible tax hikes for residents and lost jobs. 170 school personnel who um, uh, would uh, likely need to be laid off. I believe that Providence has a $10 million rainy day fund, so it, to me that would be sufficient funds to them to cover any cash flow problem that they may have. McCaffrey said the sticking point in negotiations between Senate President Dominic Ruggiero and House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello continues to be Ruggiero's amendment to Mattiello's car tax phase-out plan. But the two met again Thursday to work it out. How close are we talking days, weeks, months? You have to wait and see. And Speaker Mattiello tells us his meeting with the Senate President this afternoon was productive. There's still no date and time set for that Senate caucus next week, but it's clear there's been a lot of movement in this budget stalemate lately. Live in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.